Welcome to another episode of Fossil Friday. This week, I'm going to show some more of my own collection. In this video, I will be showing the fossils I have from Morocco, all of which were given to me by paleontologist David Martel, who I have been working with recently. This first fossil is the tooth of a sand shark, probably from the Cretaceous. These are very common in Morocco, as the sharks would have had multiple rows of them in their jaws, and would lose them quite frequently, so there are plenty to find. This particular tooth is about 2 centimeters long. The next fossil I have is the tooth of a crocodile. As you might know, there are quite a few giant crocodiles living in Africa during the Cretaceous, as well as many smaller ones. Again, this is quite a common fossil to find. I don't know what species this was, but it probably wasn't enormous, as the tooth is also about 2 centimeters long. The third fossil from Morocco that I have is very different to the others. Although it might look a bit like a tooth, it certainly isn't. This is a coprolite, the fossilised remains of an animal's faeces. What animal it was is unknown, but it isn't very large, so most likely came from a smaller creature. There is what appears to be bone within the fossil, although I'm not entirely sure that's what it is, so it might have been produced by a carnivore. The fossil measures approximately 5cm long. The next fossils I have are these mosasaur teeth. I don't know which species they belong to, but it's probably a mix of a few. They are very common in Morocco, due to the huge number of mosasaurs that lived there, and the ones I have are quite small, at about 2 or 3 centimetres long, indicating that they probably came from smaller species. Dr Martil had a large tray of these in his office, so many that he could spare these 44 easily. And the final fossil has to be the best. This is a tooth from a Spinosaurus. It's huge compared to the other fossils, at a length of almost 6 centimetres. This was given to me as a Christmas present from Dr Martil, and is certainly one of the best gifts I've ever received. Those who follow me on Twitter or Instagram might have seen this already since I posted pictures of it there. The tooth is a very distinct conical shape and does not possess any serrations, which are likely adaptations for feeding on fish. Although I'm not sure, and this is kind of a complete guess based off one reconstruction, this tooth probably sat in the maxilla of the animal, or possibly the premaxilla. The tip of the tooth is worn down, which could be due to other teeth wearing it, or maybe as a result of taphonomic processes, although not as probable. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Fossil Friday. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Remember, you can follow me on social media and subscribe for more videos like this one.